So here's a quick requested video for those who are looking for fracture tools that they can work with in Blender, especially when it has to do with add-ons. And today we're looking at the best that you can get from the folks at Blender Market. So the very first one which we're going to talk about is the RBD Lab, which is very, very useful. RBD Lab version 1.5 is now available and this comes with the Metal Soft. The whole idea behind Metal Soft is for you to be able to have dents on models and at the same time create soft bodies with rigid bodies directly in Blender with a tool like this. This has a huge set of potentials, especially for those who are thinking about fracturing and at the same time deforming models, creating fine lines between deformation, fracture, tear and wear. So if you're ever thinking about creating stuff that are in this regard, then RBD Lab 1.5 is one of the best tools out there. The next tool that is pretty similar to what you get with RBD is the Kaboom tool from Pic Pictofilmo. Pictofilmo has actually taken his time to create this. As with this, you can fracture, animate the blaster, bake the keyframes, add rough cuts, add debris, and also smoke. So this is more like a dedicated fracturing tool. Between these and RBD Lab, you cannot go wrong as both of them have their own strong suit. Version 1.5 now adds the new smoke and debris tools to it. Version 1.5.5 now brings to life the idea of adding Catfire to it. So Catfire is also a tool that they've made before and this also now comes with a new animated blaster tool which you can use to blast and add some sense of realism. So in terms of working with this tool, you can create amazing fractures, amazing smokes, amazing debris, control how you want them to be and if if you're looking for that tool that can also allow you add smokes to your fracture, then you might want to consider taking a look at Kaboom. Pictofilmo has also made a couple of other nice things that I would suggest that you check out that deals with fracture and this includes the Noisy Cutter which is an amazing tool. I would suggest that if you're just thinking about fracturing things into two, more like woods and all that, then the Noisy Cutter is your best tool. The Fracture Iterator is also another interesting one that they've made and it is pretty decent as the fracture iterator has been developed to help fracture simulation process and this add-on just simply lets you control the paths that you want to get fractured until you get satisfied. So in case you're thinking about fracturing tools from Pictofilmo, then you might want to consider taking a look at Kaboom, the noisy cutter or fracture iterator. The beautiful thing about Kaboom is, you know, like we mentioned earlier, you can add all of the smokes, the fire and all that. But with these other ones, you just fracture things depending on what kind of thing you want to fracture at a given time. And if you're looking for destruction tools that also has to do with explosions, then Chaos, the ultimate explosion and destruction add-on from the folks at Light Architect, might just be your next tool. So this just gives you the same sort of effect that you get with Kaboom, but in this case, you're doing more massive fractures. So this is also another beautiful fracturing tool that I would definitely suggest that you check out, as this provides the ability to systematically add various particle effects, including fire systems, smoke systems, dirt systems, and various particle debris. And of course, this can range from glasses, concrete, smoke, tree branches, dirt, wood particles, and a lot more. So if you're looking for that explosion tool that also gives you all of that debris, that you can use, especially the customized ones that we've just mentioned, then Chaos is definitely one that I would suggest you look at. The folks at Light Architect also has a couple of nice stuff just in case you're looking for some interesting things. They do have the Geo FX, which is an amazing one. They've also created a couple of effect tools as well, like the weather effects and all that. And of course, these are all nice add-ons. And for those looking for very simple to use fracturing tools, probably you just want to crack things and probably add some dance, all of that stuff. OCD, which is a one-click damage tool from VFX Guide, is your best bet. Like, the way this tool works is just very interesting. It's very simple, click, add patterns, recall them, make damages, all of that. You can simply do this with a single click. And this is the beauty about this tool. You don't need to start doing too much simulation. All you have to do is just have it selected, add some cracks, use the hero modules to add some more damages to the model, and you're good. Of course, there's a lot of features that comes with this, but the gist of it is with this tool, you can simply fracture any model and add some sort of dance to them really, really easily. They've also created the Cracker, which is a very interesting tool and is as extremely simple like the OCD tool that they have. So what this actually allows you to do is use a simple curve or a simple line and draw across your scene and that way you can start cracking it. And the cracks are physically based and you do have full control about how you can crack this thing. So if you're thinking about a tool that you can use that is pretty simple to work with, to crack any object of choice, control how the cracks would look like, especially for the noise, play with rotation of the crack. It's more like a custom tool for cracking. So if you've always wanted something like that, maybe for displacing those cracks and all that, then you might want to consider taking a look at Cracker from VFX Guide. And these are very lovely tool. Another interesting cracking tool, which is as similar and simple like what you have with Cracker and OCD, is the Procedural Mesh Fracture. This is from 3D Seek VFX. 
and uh, what this just does is just like you have with Cracker, this allows you to draw on your model and with that you can simply crack. Of course, you can also do some fracturing based off curve. You can also do some interesting fracturing based on weight painting. So it procedurally does all of this and it is brilliant. So if you've been thinking about a procedural tool for doing this fracturing, then of course you should go ahead and check this as it simply relies heavily on the geometry nodes to do it. One interesting tool that I think a lot of people have overlooked over time is the Animax Procedural Animation System. This tool is built around the fact that you can simply fracture any object of choice and use them to drive some motion graphic styled animation. So this just has that hardcore way of allowing you work easily, customize and at the same time play with animated presets and do so many things with it. This comes with 12 different effects which you can definitely go ahead and choose from and at the same time it has 34 animation presets and 13 fracturing presets. It will definitely save you loads of time as you can simply load those custom presets and change whatever values you want and it also offers an interesting set of tools for fracturing meshes into several pieces. It is an extremely easy to use tool, we've talked about it on the channel before and one cool thing is it's constantly getting updated. So for those who are thinking about creating fracture based animations, then Animax is definitely the tool to go. And finally, we have one from Alberto FX and this is called Fracture Mod. Now this is more like an honorable mention as it's a tool that just simply allows you to generate different kinds of fractures on simple objects. This tool has not had updates in a long while, although if you're still working with Blender 2.9, 2.91, then you can go ahead and try this and I do think that a tool like this might also work with probably Blender 3.0 but then almost everyone is using 4.0 at this point and I kind of believe that if you're thinking about using a tool like this then you probably are still working with 2.9. So this is it. The cool thing about all of these are these tools are currently available and you can go ahead and grab them right now the Blender Market Sales is happening. So it's very interesting to see that tools like these are currently existing and I'm going to link a whole lot of other ones in the description just in case you'd like to check them out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.